Lord, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Every tongue confess him, King of glory now. Tis the Father's pleasure, we should call him Lord, who from the beginning was the mighty word. In your hearts and thrown him, there let him subdue all that is not holy, all that is not true. May your voice entreat him in temptation's hour, that his will enfold you in its light and power. Brothers, this Lord Jesus will return again with his Father's glory for the earth to reign. He is God the Savior. He is Christ the Lord. Ever to be worshipped, always blessed, adored. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. For the peace of Jerusalem pray, peace be to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in your palaces peace. For love of my brethren and friends, I say peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Pray for, for the, the peace, peace of, of Jerusalem. Jerusalem. From the morning watch until the night, I have waited trustingly for the Lord. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness. For this we revere you. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord, more than watchmen for daybreak. Let the watchmen count on daybreak, and Israel on the Lord. Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption, Israel indeed he will redeem from all its iniquity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From the morning watch until the night, I, I have, have waited, waited trustingly for, for the Lord. Lord. Let everything in heaven and on earth bend the knee at the name of Jesus.
Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of men. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. Because of this, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every other name. So that at Jesus' name every knee must bend in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ is Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let everything in heaven and on earth bend the knee at the name of Jesus. We possess the prophetic message as something altogether reliable. Keep your attention closely fixed on it, as you would on a lamp shining in a dark place until the first streaks of dawn appear and the morning star rises in your hearts. First, you must understand this. There is no prophecy contained in scripture which is a personal interpretation. Prophecy has never been put forward by man's willing it. It is rather that men impelled by the Holy Spirit have spoken under God's influence. From the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. From the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. His splendor reaches far beyond the heavens. May the name of the Lord be praised. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. Rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones. God has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Great is your faith. What you ask, I give to you. Everyone who waits for the Lord finds joy. Now we pray to him. Look on us with favor, Lord, and hear us. Faithful witness, firstborn of the dead, you washed away our sins in your blood. Make us always remember your wonderful works. Look on us with favor, Lord, and hear us. You called men to be heralds of your good news. Make them strong and faithful messengers of your kingdom. Look on us with favor, Lord, and hear King of peace, send your spirit on the leaders of the world. Turn their eyes toward the poor and suffering. Look on us with favor, Lord, and hear us. Protect and defend those who are discriminated against because of race, color, class, language or religion, that they may be accorded the rights and dignity which are theirs. Look on us with favor, Lord, and hear us. May all who died in your love share in your happiness with Mary, our mother, and all your holy ones. Look on us with favor, Lord, and hear us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. God, our Father, may we love you in all things and above all things, and reach the joy you have prepared for us beyond all our imagining. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.